welcome back. I am 37 weeks pregnant today. Well, we got 20 days left. I think it's 20 days. I think it's 20 days left. I look like a hot mess today. But last week, they checked me if I was dilated. I wasn't. And I feel like ever since they checked me, I've been having cramping. And it's been like, it's been like every day. But it doesn't like last too long. I've been having, what? what? Look what? It's like, he's driving so crazy. And then you get up here and you can't even go anywhere anyway. <sighs> Someone has road rage. Yeah, them, not me. Yeah, okay. Anyways, so I've been having really bad cramping, but I'm sure it's all normal. It's been moving a lot more and it's been a lot of pressure. Why you gotta look at them? Like, what? Like, you, every time someone does something that annoys you, you gotta look all up in there. And this girl doing her makeup while driving. I can't, we gotta get out of this highway. People cannot drive in Virginia. So, he's been moving a lot more and like the, the pressure, I just really feel like his head is like, like sometimes I feel like I need to squeeze just so he can like stay up there. Like I really feel like he's like gonna come out. So, that's really an annoying feeling when you're like, What's all these sound effects? That's <laughs> stopping <laughs> Mackenzie, you're not even using it right no more. Huh. Like I really feel like something is like gonna come out or fall out or something like that. So I wasn't gonna let them check to see if I was dilated today, but I was just like, oh, why not? I know people have like things to say about checking or whatever. Like what? Well, I seen in my pregnancy apps, like people were like. Oh, I don't let them check my to see if I'm dilated. It's just a waste of time, blah, 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 blah. So I don't know why people are like so iffy about it. I don't care. I mean, I'll let them check just because I feel, I've been feeling so much like pressure today. I feel like it's been affecting me of me like going out and like, you know, shopping or just walking around, taking my kids to the park or the library. I, I feel like I always have to pee, although like, and it's hard for me to like drink water when like, you always have to pee. And it's just like, sometimes I don't have any drunk anything in a while, and then I still have to pee. And it's just like, it's the, like you can't hold it anymore, so it's like little pee comes I out. A tub, you need to drink water, you need to let your pee and be clear. I know, Kenzie. Yeah. I have all, this, all these doctors on top of me, with me and my drinking water. I have been drinking water, here's my water. It's just annoying to like drink water when you're out and then you have to like look for a bathroom. I feel like a, a toddler. Like Kenzie does better with Daddy, potty train. Like I need a, like a diaper on myself. I'm not sure where it depends. I can't even like picture myself peeing on myself. Like it's just, that's like weird. I thought about putting that on for when I sleep at night, but it's because I get so tired of waking up every like hour just to pee. And I don't even notice. I feel like every sleepwalking, I just like get up and just go and go back to sleep. It's just a mess. I just can't wait to till he's out and I don't have to worry about like where I'm gonna go to use the bathroom next. <laughs> so we're going to our appointment now. We'll see what they can say. I feel like these weekly appointments are just like, oh, how you feeling? Okay, that's normal. All right, <laughs> see you next week. Hopefully something exciting gets told to us today. So we just left the doctor's appointment. I'm not dilated once again. And I think that was the thing that I read in my pregnancy apps. It's just like, why get it done? If like you like putting your hopes up, you know, that baby's coming, baby's coming. So, and then plus, as you know, it's not the best feeling, them digging all up in there. And then I've been getting like cramps after they check me. So right now I'm not feeling too right with all the cramping and stuff like that. 
So I don't think I'm gonna do it next week. I know, you know, it's, it's optional to get checked. And I think, I think Darius agrees, right? Don't do Ooh. it. Don't he don't care. It's, June 3rd. They're not digging inside of you. Babies do June 3rd. Okay, June 3rd. Oh, please, now you saying June 3rd. What's up with all the May? I thought you said he was coming early. June 3rd. What just changed? He's been saying June 20, I mean May 29th for the longest. Anyways, so yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get checked next week only because I'm thinking about how I was with Mackenzie. And I think that's how it was. Like I never really dilated at all until like my contractions got close together. And then when we actually went to the hospital and they checked me, I was like one and a half centimeters. So I, the doctor, the midwife, the midwife was saying that maybe that's how my body is. Like, that's how my body, you know, goes into labor. I just, I don't dilate until, you know, it gets close together to the time is actually right. So, I think I'm just, like, not going to check at all and just listen to my body. And once it's time with the contractions and timing them close together and stuff like that, then that's when... It's go time, you know. I was telling her all my concerns, not my not concerns, but like how I've been feeling. That's basically all they ask you is how you've been feeling, and you know just about how I feel pressure down there, and how um, I mentioned last week in the last vlog that I've been feeling like sharp shooting pains, like he's like hitting a nerve, and she's like, yeah, there's a lot of nerves down there, so you can feel it in your groin and whatever, blah blah. blah basically everything is normal they're like yeah just normal last uh -huh. weeks of pregnancy this is why i don't really like bring it up in the doctor's appointments for real for real because all they're gonna say oh it's normal that's normal uh, no, no matter what you say no matter what you say everything is normal and i know it's normal because like he's getting heavier he's getting down there she said he's in a good position she's like, okay his head is right here so i'm just like how does that work because i know you know the midwife last week said like oh i feel his head but she was saying she feel it like she's like your cervix is like the inside of your cheek so like she feels like something yeah it. she feels something behind it that's yeah why are you looking like that Kenzie? Ah. oh so i asked her about what the midwife said last week to like call when the contractions are like eight minutes apart or whatever and then because you know i wanted to make sure like should i call eight minutes apart or should i call five minutes apart and she was just saying you know like just trust your gut like you know if if you're having a contraction and starting getting like more intense and stuff like that because it is it, it is going to speed up faster and stuff like that compared to with Mackenzie so you should just trust your gut like you know if it's getting to the point that you're like all right we should call in advance and stuff like that so that's all and I think these are, these are like the last weeks that are like so annoying just because you literally are clueless of what's gonna happen. You don't like you just sitting here just waiting in such discomfort because you have to pee all the time. You're doing this, you're doing that. And I was telling her how like you know how heavy he is and um with my like you know either round ligament pains and stuff like that. She asked me if I have a support belt. I do have a support belt, but every time I put it on, I, I feel like Oh yeah, we checked his heartbeat. It was 140. Every week it's been like 140, so he's pretty consistent with that, I guess. And, and but anyways, back to the belt. Every time I put the belt on, I feel like it's like squeezing everything up. So like if I eat or drink something, then that's when I get like acid reflux and heartburn and stuff like that. And she was like, yeah. So you have to choose like, do you want heartburn and acid reflux? Or do you want raw ligament pain? So it's just like, you never really win. You just gotta choose what pain you want. But for the most part, I don't wear that belt. I mean, sometimes I do, but over time it gets uncomfortable for me. So that's why I don't like put it on all the time. I feel like you just gotta be patient, you know? So now you're saying completely June 3rd? Maybe the second. Okay. Second sounds better. I'm thinking June 4th. Maybe like the day after, just like Mackenzie would. We have our bags packed by the door. Today, we are doing something fun, right? Mm -hmm. Oh God. What? It's acid reflux. What? It burns. Fun? Yeah, we're going to put the car seat in. Duh, isn't that fun? So here's the car seat. Isn't it so cute? Can you guys even see? 
It's olive green, right next to Mackenzie, right? Mm -hmm. And I can touch him. Yeah, and you can touch him whenever he's here. So we're, me and Darius are not comfortable putting the car seat in ourselves because we just want it in there correctly. So with Mackenzie, we actually went to the police department to get it put in. And now, now that we're in Virginia, we're gonna go to the fire department. So they actually have like a certain time that they only do the car seats installation. So hopefully we're going to the right place. Hopefully we're going to the right time. And hopefully we don't need an appointment. Did it say appointment? No, right? So we got the car seat installed. Oh, this is pretty sturdy. I didn't even notice. But there's a story behind this because we basically should have done this ourselves. So we drove about an hour to go to this fire station because it's so far from the hospital. We go there and they were saying that that program, that car seat installation program is about to be discontinued and not about to do it anymore. He did it for us. He showed us how easy it is. But we just thought you had to go somewhere to get it installed because in Florida, it was like a requirement with Mackenzie. I don't know if they do that anymore. We actually had to have like a paper signed by like the police department saying that it was properly installed. But obviously here in Virginia, they don't do all that. So he was just like, why don't y'all you know, just look on YouTube on how to put it in? And I'm just like, cause I want someone who's really certified to put the car seat base in. Maybe we were just overthinking and thinking it was so hard to put in, but he showed Darius how I'm to. I'm sorry, I could have figured it out. Just, I thought you had to get somebody certified to do it. Mm. But we have Mackenzie's old base. So we're going to put Mackenzie's old base in my car just so we have a base in each car. Although my car is so much smaller. You got to go. Who got to go? Hmm. We also have these car seat mirrors. Are you going to put this in too? I don't know. Put your hand through. See car seat mirrors and the baby on board. I guess we'll put the baby on board in his car since he'll be doing most of the driving. I think. Car seats in my car. We got the mirror up. It took a while. Let's my get headrest is weird. But it's in there. <laughs> this is like no space for nothing i know look at this baby kenzie like my car Not is baby. too small you cannot fit jeez you make it seem like i have like oh. <laughs> i could never ride in the bed where's your legs oh my gosh the car seat mirror we got from the baby shower it was pretty simple to put in. It's just adjusting it so it could fit, so it could fit snug. This is basically how you put it on. Come on. Okay. I'm squished here too. You know? See, look. I mean, I, I, it's, I have more leg room than what you had. Mackenzie over there. I gotta sit back here with my kids. Man. And I'll be looking at him like, look at it. Okay, you gonna drive now? Yeah. Okay, where are you taking us? We take it. Wait, I need to go off the store and buy some stuff. Okay. Well, are you gonna get a van? Yeah. Never. I wanna show you guys what I got today. Nothing too special, but got this cute little piggy bank that Mackenzie picked out in the dollar section at Target. And I got this so I you put money in it. Yeah, she already has two piggy banks. So I was just like, I didn't even think about having, giving him a piggy bank. This is really little, but he don't have any money. What you gonna do? I'm going to give him some, some in honor, and I'm going to take out the money on this side. All right, go take it out. Take some money out and put it in his piggy bank. Where are you going? I'm going to do it in your room. Why? There's your preview of his nursery. I'm not showing you yet. I'll make a video next week. I mean, it's basically done. Just need to clean up a couple spots and then I can make that video. Back to me.
My lovely best friend got me an Ulta gift card for Mother's Day. It was a nice surprise. Just saw it this morning. So I was just like, gotta go there today just to see what I can get. And I got this makeup palette. Um, this is gonna be so much fun. Since I have a couple weeks left of pregnancy, might as well play with makeup, right? While I'm at it, let me give you guys a quick bump date. Getting more stretch marks right here. You can't tell when you look really close, they're like the light white stretch marks. I already had these from McKenzie's on my side. I feel like it definitely looks longer from right here. When you look on the side, it doesn't look as so that pretty much sums up my 37 week pregnancy update video hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up comment down below and make sure you subscribe so you can keep up with this baby watch don't know when he's coming i know the doctor also said to drink some raspberry leaf tea i might go out and get that tomorrow because that can help with your uterus getting prepared for the baby getting prepared for the labor so i might get some of that just so i'm getting some out because i must not have no more money i told you you don't have to give him all your money so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week bye <laughs>